good morning or afternoon or evening whatever time it is for you I just woke up I had a horrible night's sleep just full of anxiety this week it's but I'm declaring today a mental health day and I thought it could be good to just record it, like make it a vlog because I remember in the first couple months of my grief, I desperately wanted to see other widows in their 20s surviving. Like I and not even doing anything significant or, you know, achieving anything or I just wanted to see what they were doing to survive and take care of themselves. So, since I know I wanted to see that, I figure I can create that and be that for another person who might want to see it. So, yeah, come with me on my mental health day. Okay, so the update since the video I posted, I think it was like two months ago now, um, about burnout. <laughs> I feel like I'm still recovering. I am still staying with my parents. That's where I am now. I just haven't felt ready to live alone again. So, you know, I'm not pushing myself. I'm still just hanging out here. But I am solo in their house for the weekend because they are on a long weekend trip with some friends. So since it's a day by myself and um, my mental health has kind of been rough this week for various reasons, I just figured today I would focus on my mental health and just do the things that make me feel mentally healthier. It might be inspiring for me later and it might be something that other young widows would want to see. Another reason I thought today might be a good day to document is because I have a special appointment. That um, special appointment is with an intuitive healer. I don't know if people have heard much about this and honestly, I'm not really sure exactly what to expect. I just, the only way I can describe it is like I feel very called to do this. I think when I heard of it, I went to like psychic medium. I understand it's different from that. I have seen a medium um, since Tyler died, which was hugely comforting for me. I know it's not for everybody, um, but that is something that I'm open to and it was very comforting for me. I'm, I understand an intuitive healer, they take into account like your birthday and your astrology and your something about your number I forget but anyway they take all of that into account and kind of give you information about what's to come and your path forward which I desperately need that is where a lot of my anxiety lies so anyways I'm very excited about that appointment that is kind of what inspired like okay that that already is on the calendar for the day so I'm gonna put other things around it that make me feel good also, I cannot eat dairy, and it this started in 2019. Very sad. Anyways, recently discovered... Focus. There we go. Recently discovered Wee Yogurt. It's the coconut dairy alternative. When I tell you, this is so delicious. It tastes just like the real Wii yogurt. It's so good. And the reason that I'm even spending any time sharing this is just because 
I think one of the golden things I've learned from, you know, losing the person that was closest to me in this life um, is that it really is the little things. Like the cliches are really true. Life really is short. Tomorrow really is not promised. And while we're here, we should be squeezing like every ounce of goodness we can out of life. And if there is something that brings you some enjoyment, like any ounce of it, especially in early grief, like you just gotta lean into that. So it could be as simple as freaking yogurt. <laughs> it might be a little bit more expensive than other yogurt, but like worth it, you know? Anyway, so I'm starting my mental health day with my favorite yogurt, a boost of immunity and vitamin C, and then I'm gonna read my daily meditation and journal here in a second. Also, this is my breakfast appetizer. Does anyone else do breakfast appetizers? This is just so I can get something in my stomach to drink coffee, and then I'm gonna have like a real breakfast in like an hour. I don't know if anyone else does that, but. always seem to happen that like you know you have an appointment at this time you've scheduled out your day it's gonna be like you have plenty of time and then all of a sudden oh, you do not have any time and I'm like oh my god I have to leave in like 10 minutes it's fine it's fine we're gonna make it happen and I shall be ready in 10 minutes okay <coughs> Oh, I hope I'm not late. Just need to take a few deep breaths because being late down here, my mom always says this, being late down here is better than being early up there. so validated and confirmed in everything I've been experiencing and it's so wild Whew, I just have a lot to process The scenery. Got myself an acai bowl. In my favorite place. Yum. And this is good for mental health. It's really good. Another 80 degree day in spring. We are just getting spoiled at this point. And I'm grateful. This is reminding me of the one time Tyler and I got an acai bowl to split from this place. And he thought that there was like more peanut butter in like the middle of it or something. So he ate the entire scoop of peanut butter that was at the top and I got zero peanut butter. <laughs> and he felt so bad. He was like, oh, you only put one scoop and it's $2. Like I thought for sure it would be in the rest of it. Anyway, laughing about it now. Hmm. So good. I have to go back and walk Tucker and my dog after this. I think I'm still going to go for a bike ride because I want to. So I'm going to.
Oh my gosh, I was really sweating. It wasn't even a long bike ride, but I do feel like it was mentally and physically healthy, so I feel good about it. And for the last like little stretch of it, I was thinking about dinner, and I was like, the goal of today is to be mentally healthy. Like, what am I doing to fill my cup and feel good? And I was like really toggling, like, do I eat something healthy? Do I eat leftovers? Or do I get something that makes me, just like gives me a little bit of joy, which is probably Chick-fil-A. And I think I might go the Chick-fil-A route. Even though it doesn't make me feel physically great, <laughs> it does, it is like good for my soul, I feel. So, yeah. I'm just thinking about the waffle fries now and I'm like, yeah, I need that. Back home, at the goods. Jeffrey's going to eat Chino's food over there. Oh my God. Look at this. I haven't had a sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Oh, that could be a freaking commercial. Wow. Mm. Why is this so good? I realize this could have also been like a what I eat in a day. <laughs> I'm sorry to anyone with, um, what is the term? Mesophobia or something? Whatever, it's like when you don't, don't like to hear people chewing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I think, you know, eating things that bring you joy and like enjoying your meals is part of mental health and like doing good things for yourself. So that's why all my meals were in this video today. <laughs> but um, anyways, I still have a lot to process from my intuitive healing session. Ugh, there was just so much information and it's just so fascinating. Like I want to know more about myself so I can be the best version of myself. And that is a lot of dissecting yourself and how you think and how you feel about things and how you respond and all of those things. And it's just like, this session was a lot of how I do that based on my purpose on this earth in this life. I realized in this session that more of what has evolved in my life has been from this greater plan and purpose and it basically just confirmed that I'm called to talk about grief and share about it and in any growth I find for myself or helpful things or lessons learned I just feel so deeply that I'm supposed to share those for other people. And that was kind of just confirmed in this intuitive healing session. So it gives me a lot to think about, but I think it was such a good thing for me to do and so perfectly divinely timed um, and fit really nicely with my theme of today being a mental health day because it's just I spend a lot of time being anxious about things and doubting myself and questioning what I'm doing, what I should be doing, what's next. And to hear that I'm, I've already started trusting that like deep knowing and that that is the right path. It's just, it's really powerful. It's empowering, it's encouraging, validating, it's a lot of good things. And so it, it really did do a lot for my mental health today. The biggest thing is a reminder of like, trust myself. I don't know why that made me emotional. I think I lost some trust in myself. 
with Tyler's active addiction and, you know, his manipulation and gaslighting and all the things that addiction made him do, it really made me question myself. Somewhere along the way, it's just addiction is so messed up and it's so powerful and it's not only manipulating the addict but like everything around it and so it really did a number on me and my trust in myself and i think it's just it's just um yeah it's a big thing to be reminded that above all i need to trust myself and like lean into what i feel is right <laughs> and only do the things that make me feel like I'm following that purpose. Surround myself with other people who are doing the same thing, who have similar, you know, energy and like high vibrations. And I just, I'm really grateful for having had that experience and to bring all of that knowledge forward. I mean, what a way to end a mental health day than with a little fire pit action. It's been a good day. And I am grateful for how I feel at the end of this day, especially compared to how I've felt most of this week. I just feel like I was really intentional about making myself feel good today and it was so helpful and I just feel like it set me on a better track forward. I think this was exactly what I needed. Everything about today was exactly what I needed. So I'm so grateful. That's all. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, and I am sending you light and love. Till next time.